Okay, I am going live and I'm uh, inviting Jason McGuire into the live video here. So today you're going to learn a lot about uh, maintenance and uh, as, as it pertains to property management, you're going to get some really good tips. Um, let me see your viewers. Let's see. Yeah. So let me just, uh, invite. Okay. I've got that going. Okay. Okay. Now hopefully he's going to jump on here in just a second. So again, my name is Ryan Steinel. So if you guys don't know, um, I am, uh, the guy who is at crystals watching. <laughs> awesome. So, um, hopefully, um, we're going to get Jason on. Hey, Crystal. So um, I got another viewer. So hopefully that additional viewer. There's Jason. Okay. Uh, bring Jason on. I am. Uh, my, my company is called Accelerate Marketing. We're based out of San Diego. We help property managers generate more leads um, and uh, just crush it online and become the go-to property management company in your niche, in your industry. And we're going to get Jason on here in just a second. Um, in order to learn from him and help him. There he is. <laughs> How's it going? I'm doing good. You know, just a little technology fun with these uh, cell phones. Well, I mean, it's, I, I'm, you know, we'll talk about that uh, because I, I want, I want people to understand, you know, what we're doing today, because I think this is really well. I think I know because I've done a lot of live video. This, this way of doing interviews is going to be, the way to do interviews and in and, and your group as well, because, you know, you're, you started a group as well um, for investors and, um, you know, single family, uh, you know, homeowners, um, ho hopefully absentee homeowners are going to join. Um, that, those are like, you know, the low hanging fruit for you guys. Right. So um, you're, you're going to be in, in the Toronto area. So we're, we're hoping that we get, uh, you know, a bunch of people in your group, just like we're doing here. Um, so that you can start conversations and start adding value, you know, to the people that uh, that you're you're trying to serve there in the Toronto area. So, we, well, before we get started, let's go ahead and introduce yourself. Let people know who you are and and uh, and all that kind of stuff. Sure. So, uh, my name is Jason McGuire. I own a, a property man management office in the uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, this is our ninth year in business. And uh, we've just been rocking it out. Currently, about 200 properties and been really comfortable around there. Okay. So uh, we're going from there. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's great. And, and, and Jason, you know, I, I, uh, I, I wanted to bring Jason on because, you know, a lot of, um, and, and full disclosure, I mean, Jason is a, you know, is a client of ours, my digital marketing agency. I mean, he, um, you know, we're, we're working with him on, setting up his own, you know, Facebook group, like I've done here for the property management lead gen group. And uh, he just got his first two, uh, you know, uh, landlords uh, and in investors uh, today that asked to join the group and they both uh, meet your qualifications. So that's good. The two, two, it's, it's already starting to potentially to work there for you, hopefully. And, um, but basically, you know, what I wanted to bring Jason on for was because you know, he, I mean, he's in the trenches like you guys. And I, and the number one question that I got that I get for the 165 people that have asked to join the group so far, um, in the last, what, two and a half months, um, growing rapidly is, is this group is, is the number number, actually the number two question that we get is, is maintenance, you know, is, is, uh, repairs. How do you manage that process? And, um, and that's, you know, Jason offered to share some of his insights because, you know, that's something that I, I just want to make sure that, that, um, you know, we we're sharing the, the best tips and strategies so that you guys can be more profitable and potentially even find additional revenue streams, which is one of the things that you were, that you were, that you were saying is one of the benefits of, of the, uh, strategies that you're using for around repair. So I'll, with that, I'll let you, I'll let you share with, you know, what, with the, uh, people watching what you're what you're doing and how you're doing it for sure uh, but just before that i'm gonna say you know ryan helped me set up that facebook group and i haven't even invited a single client to it yet and somehow these two random people already want to join in that are investors uh so it's strange but i'm excited about it <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna and, and you're gonna be doing just like the, that's why i wanted to bring jason in because you know the only other person that i know of is uh 
a lady by the name of, of Callie or Kay I always forget if it's Callie or Kaylee. It's, I know how it's spelled, but she's in Australia and, and she's starting to do interviews like this for uh, affiliated companies that, um, that uh, investors, landlords, you know, single family homeowners, et cetera, that are your target audience would potentially, you know, want to talk to and want to learn more from. And, and she's starting to do that. And, and she's, and, but I don't think she's created a Facebook group like this, but this is something that, that, you know, we'll, we'll manage or monitor over time because, you know, Steve shared the other day on uh, this, this concept of creating this quarterly in-person event. Well, this just kind of extends that conversation over time um, in a, in a Facebook group so that those people that do attend the live in-person event can continue the conversation with you and continue to get, you know, value, in, you know, within a, a group setting. So with that, I'll let you, I'll let you go, go at it. Yeah, no problem. Tell them those work fantastic. I love doing those. Uh, but anyway, preventative maintenance is um, something that we really changed up the conversation we have here in Toronto. You know, every time we're going out to meet clients or they're calling on the phone, they were always asking us, what do we do for maintenance? How much it costs? What are your rates? You know, and it was everyone. They all wanted to know it was really a hot topic issue here. And so, you know, I said this is nine years in business. So probably about a year and a half ago, uh, we really decided to turn things around and switch it up a little bit and built right into our management agreement is we made a list of like 50 items to get done at the house. And then we started talking to an owner saying, tell me what you want us to do. And so we made this checklist. We made it for every season because, you know, your needs of a home change. And we sit down with them now and we go through it. You know, I'd like the furnace filters changed every season or I want it to be winterized or, you know, my house doesn't need the deck power washed. Yeah, uh, And it, it covers almost everything you could think to be done to a property, even down to changing batteries and smoke detectors. Wow. And we found that by implementing this program, we're on the same page as our clients. You know, so it's no longer, why did you do this? Or why am I getting billed for this? Or, you know, when did that smoke detector really expire? I need a picture. Yeah. You know, it's, this is what you agreed for us to do. And so it, it's eliminated a lot of questions and a lot of headaches for us. Okay. So but, what you're saying is that, is that you set up, basically you set the expectations up um, early, uh, Todd's exactly. Todd Breen's on. Um, hey, Todd. Um, so you, that's that's really what you've done is you because you've set the expectations up early in terms of what you're going to be covering, uh, in t or what you're going to be um, doing in terms of repairs and maintenance. It's really set the expectations from the beginning, and therefore there's no surprises, and that that reduces a lot of the um, the potential for backlash or you know or, or challenges in the future. Yeah, and it often in, in, uh, saves us time in conversations, you know, so we yeah. don't have to have these conversations every season or every year, you know, we try to have them once. And then, you know, there's some added benefits right into the office, like part of this program, we gave people the option of, you know, if you don't know what you want done, for 170 bucks, we'll send an expert out, and they'll build a list for you. So right there, revenue generator, I love that. Yeah. You know, double what we make in management fees just in one month there. It was a great it, month. But by doing, by doing what now again? So by, by you, you doubled your, the revenue you were generating by, by well, say that one more time. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah. And so we talked to a lot of their investors and they don't know their properties in and out. Okay. So we said, hey, look, for 170 bucks, I'll have one of my maintenance guys go by. They'll fill out this list for you, customize it for your property, and then we'll report back on it to you. Got it. You Got know, it. Going to these homes, spending about half an hour, you know, it was fantastic. Wow. Okay. And I'm sure, Todd, if you have any, any comments or anything, uh, chime in. Um, but I, 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 that's really great. I mean, so basically what you're doing is you're offering the ability, especially if they're abs absentee, right? I mean, they, they love to have somebody go in there in person and go through a checklist, um, a system, you know, a standard operating procedure checklist like a pilot does, you know, a la Steve Rosenberg, who was a pilot, you know, um, you know, before he flies, he goes through that checklist and he looks just like we do at our company. We have a checklist. And I know Todd's a really, you know, big stickler on having checklists, especially for property management, because ultimately that's what your business, you know, comes down to is what checklist do you have so that you can, you can uh, assure that you're getting, you're delivering the same quality product every single time. And what you're saying that you're doing, Jason, around this, uh, this concept of having checklists is, is you're just going through and you're saying, or you're asking the customer first and you're saying, Hey, do you want us to do this? They're like, yeah, absolutely. Because it, it gives them peace of mind because they might not even be in or around the area. 
to know that, hey, all these things have been checked. They, they're, you know, the fire extinguisher has been checked, you know, so that you're preventing oh. a lot of, you know, bad scenarios from happening, making sure there's a fire extinguisher in the house, potentially things like that. You go through and you're identifying all the things that that uh, could be an issue or a problem. And, and you're also generating revenue for your for your business. So you're building goodwill and you're 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 you've got another source of income, you know, for your for your business at the same time. Well, yeah. And on top of all that is we don't have to look for work for our maintenance people anymore. You know, to okay. go out and do these service plans, they're like half a day of property each. Okay. You know, I've got one full-time position we created just out of these annual quarterly maintenance now. Okay. So it's, so it's kind of like, you know, somebody buying insurance for, uh, you know, an AC unit, you know, basically, you know, do you want the insurance with that, you know, type thing. And, and, and so, you buy that for peace of mind. And that's basically what this is. It's like, it's like uh, repair insurance, if you will, um, where, you, you know, you're, you're going out there, you're guaranteeing that you're going to go out there for what, $170 a, uh, a quarter is what they're paying for that checkup. Uh, no, they actually pay for the maintenance, what it cost us, you know, okay. uh, or build up more, obviously, but the, the 170 was just the one time thing to get the program up and going. Okay, so and that's you go out and we bill for the work we do, like battery replacement, furnace, uh, cleaning eaves, um, swapping out uh, defective machines. You know, and these are all done very preventatively, so we don't have to go and you know rush out there when something happens right away, because I know that this was just taken care of last season, for example. Got it. So, okay, so what you're saying is is just is is you it's it's like a membership fee so to speak that 170 dollars where you know in order to be added to our um you know our uh our one of our pro as one of our properties that we check uh every quarter it's 170 dollars to get into the program and then we go and as a result we check your property every quarter and then we bill you for whatever maintenance or man maintenance that or repairs that need to be done is that correct yeah off of the list that you've picked off of the list that you, you picked. So five things we go in and do those five things. Okay, so they so they also have a part in telling you what things that that they want you to to inspect when they when you're there. Oh yeah, it's a fully optional. You know, like okay. I said, there's about fifty items. They can pick as many or as few as they want. They pay us to do whatever it is it turns out to be, and you know we bill for the hour and for the the piece and time, whatever happens to be. You know, genius. That's, that's, I love it. <laughs> that, that's genius. That, I mean, I, I'm curious to see, to, I, I'm curious to know what your numbers are, you know, in terms of the increased revenue that you guys have realized as a result of implementing a program like this um, before and after. Um, and because really what it is, is, is there, you've, you've created a system and that's just what it is. It's a system for you to be able to, you just to, for you to be able to go in there on a quarterly basis in order to find more issues that you end up getting paid more money for, which is great. And, and what, it's, what it's doing is, is, it's, is it's, cre it's created a situation where because there's um, uh, more communication and a regular communication with them, they feel more comfortable. They feel like you're doing a better job yeah. because it's, it's on a regular basis and because they also participate in what things they want you to actually check when you go do these regular these regular checkups. What do you, what do you call the, is that, is that basically what you're saying though? Is that what, what's oh, the call it a preventative maintenance program. Okay. Preventative. Wow. I, man, I, I'd really love to get anybody. If you've got any insights into this, or if you're doing this um, either during the live video or after the live video, please leave any comments below. I'd love to get your feedback. Um, and then also Jason, I'm wondering like what your real dollar revenue increase was i mean I, and i also love the fact that you've you know what you're what you're doing is 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 you've made it much easier to manage that one person that's going and doing the repairs or that's responsible for the repairs and maintenance of your of your properties and you've made their job a lot easier because they're not having to deal with a lot of unhappy customers because things break because you're in there every 3 months you're there in there every 3 months and and you know, so there's a, you, you can literally manage this, this person's business or their, their, what they're doing by literally just creating a, a, a checklist of all your, all your properties 
and then, you know, go through and, and see, have you, you know, have you gotten to all 200 of the properties in the past three months or not? <laughs> and that's, that's their job just to go through and, and um, you could just literally create a spreadsheet and have them check off when they've gone to visit the property and what was done and what the dollar amount was, you know, in that, in the, in the various, you know, different cells of that spreadsheet to keep it really simple if you wanted to. I don't know how you manage that process, but I would think that that, that might be one way to do it. Yeah, so we uh, rely a lot on software. Uh, in the office here, we use Appfolio. And so we go as far as we set up recurring work orders. You know, so every season you get a work order for a property. It goes right out to the internal maintenance people or the vendor, depending on what it happens to be. And uh, for most of these things, we've even pre-negotiated rates to what's going to happen. You know, so regardless of seeing the property, we know what it's going to build at. We know what we're going to build it at. And so the thing just kicks off on its own and it happens. You know, wow. it's just that one time setup. We're billing for it. It gets up and going. And then it just works. You know, wow. I, I just help expand the maintenance company to hire a new coordinator. Uh, you know, because of all this additional work that's coming into the office there, it's, it's fantastic. So how you know? how much how much additional uh, re do, do you have any numbers that, as far as you know like increases in in dollars that it's generated for your business and uh, you know save time or anything else that you that you've been able to identify through the through the implementation of this? You know we haven't measured those really hardly, but yeah. you know if I had to go and look like off the top of my head, two hundred yeah. properties, four work orders a year, uh, you know. That's 800 different jobs. Yeah. You know, because that's one time, one full time person alone who takes care of all that. Yeah. And so, so, you know, we make twice what their salary is uh, based on the maintenance labor alone. So that, that's easily been uh, 60 to 80,000 just off of that one plus uh, the parts and stuff that we build for these properties. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, how, um, so that, that is a, a really practical way for somebody that, you know, has anywhere from shoot 200 doors up to 2000 doors, you know, to increase their, their bottom line. If they're not, if they're not doing it, um, are there any other, Hey, George Morrissey, how you doing? I'm just waving at you there. Um, I hope you're doing good. Let us know if you've got any, any comments to what we're saying here, or if you do anything differently to what, um, you know, the strategy that Jason has just identified, which is to um, allow his property uh, owners to participate in a, um, in a process uh, or a system where they go out to the properties on a quarterly basis in order to inspect them uh, for any uh, manage, uh, maintenance or repairs that need to be made. And uh, the owners involved in the process of identifying what things need to be checked. And there's a $170 uh, to get signed up, you know, for the, for the program. And, um, and it's, it's generated, you know, for 200 doors, it's generated about, you know, anywhere between 60 and a hundred thousand dollars in additional bottom line revenue for his, for his property management business. Um, I'm wondering, you know, I mean, shoot, that's significant if you can do that for, you know, if you multiply that times five, if you've got a thousand doors, you know, I mean, so just think about um, what could be done there. So I'm wondering, are there any other, you know, t are there any other tips or strategies that you can suggest that, or that any other suggestions that you have for anybody else that's out there, if they've got, you know, no matter, no matter how many doors they have that, that, um, that is around this, this maintenance and repairs issue that, that we all run into. Is there anything else that you want to, give as, as a suggestion to people? For sure. So, you know, one thing we work on a little bit more with our vendors, this one's a little harder. Okay. Uh, but because they're people who do repairs, you know, we ask them to look for improvements at the property. Okay. You know, you're out there, you see something that could be upgraded, look at it, give me a quote on the spot. You know, it gives us something to talk to our owner about. Yeah. And, you know, people love it when you're able to report back, hey, you know, you can upgrade this vanity. It's 10 years old. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's 500 bucks, be done in an afternoon. But they love having those kind of conversations because they know the added value of increasing their real estate. Yeah. So having the conversations with the, with your, with your owners about other, other things that might need to be done, give, give the quote so that it's, you're, you're being proactive is really what it comes down to and saying, Hey, this, this might also need to be done. you this also might need to be done. Why not do that while they're there? if they're going through and looking for things that need to be fixed, look for other things that 
other suggestions you're saying of things that might need to be upgraded or might um, be uh, added value to the property that might increase the rents that, that they might be able to bring in. Is that, is that what, you're say, what you're saying? Well, exactly. And it also eliminates several steps of communication. You know, if you've ever made a recommendation to an owner, they're always asking first, well, what does it cost? Yes. You know, if you can just provide all this information right up front, you're going to save yourself three or four emails, 20 minute conversation. You can just get right down to business. Yeah. You know, one call, one email, job approved sort of thing, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So what your suggestion is, is that, is that you actually just get it knocked out, right? get, get, get the quote created, have that have that person going out there, that uh, maintenance and repair person go out there and, uh, and, and have that quote all ready to go, send it over to the customer so that you've got something to work off of and um, probably with pictures and things like that so they can make a decision, I'm sure. Exactly, you know, these are real professionals we're sending out to properties. They want more work. They want us to send them more work. So I tell them to look for more work. Yeah, you know, we take these suggestions, and like I said, I love to have everything all together at once. Saves everybody time and money, and then we can just get it banged out. Are these in-house people, or are these people that that you're you know you're outsourcing the work to? We use a combination of both. Okay. The majority of the stuff is done in-house, though. You know, okay. anybody who runs a number of properties, it's really hard to find a handyman company to take care of a lot of this stuff. Yeah, you know, nobody wants to do a job for under three hundred bucks or just show up when you need them. Yeah, so, you know, forced us to hire. And then this is just added benefit of as we grow here. Got it. So you, by keeping it in house, you're able to uh, retain better control over the overall process and deliver better results and, and make it more custom, like you were saying, because you can also um, have them uh, uh, suggest, you know, different or, and actually create quotes as well right there on the spot. So you can have better control over the whole process and, and, the, and the overall results that you're able to get from them going out to the properties, it sounds like. Is that, is that what you're saying? That's definitely it. You know, okay. you get a much greater share of the profits, obviously. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's... Not just a rebate you might get from a vendor, you know, you, you're getting the lion's share of it in that case. Yeah, absolutely. So, well, it, I wanted to, you know, just at least, you know, talk to you today. Is there anything else, like for any, you know, I know, we, you know we've talked about <laughs> repairs and maintenance. Um, are there any other suggestions that you have or... Um, anything else that you, you know, want to share? Um, if anybody want actually also mention um, when you, you know, it, as well, you know, if somebody does want to reach out and get a hold of you, how, how can they do that? I mean, obviously they can reach you in the group here, but um, mm -hmm. if they did want to, you know, reach out and contact you, what's a, what's a great way to contact you guys or you? Yeah, you can grab me through Facebook here, you know, okay. or just give me a shout at the office. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, we can be found everywhere you've helped us with that. Yes. <laughs> Yes, no. absolutely. Um, and is there any other suggestions that you have for around repair and maintenance at all? Or um, I, I'm going to tell you that the more you can automate it, the better. Yeah. You know, maintenance is a very time intensive process. You know, we find owners have tons of questions on things because they just don't understand them. They don't appreciate what they cost. You know, they think they can hire the guy down the street for minimum wage and just get it done. Yes. And also we found that a lot of these things get eliminated as you start to include pictures in greater detail. Yeah. You know, spend an extra two minutes and tell us what you did, you know, more than yeah. just fix steps. You know, people love to know that something Absolutely. rusted out or stopped working or why it did, you know, and then the questions, they just disappear because they yeah. actually start to see they're getting something of value and they didn't have to oversee this process and they can appreciate, you know, they hired a professional to do it for them. Yeah, it's all about, you know, delivering value and showing the value and demonstrating the value and being proactive, you know, and that's really a lot of what I'm hearing is, is just doing the best you can to create the, the standard operating procedures that you have in your business that manage this overall process of, of uh, repairs and maintenance. And by, by create, just by creating the system, you have created value because what you're doing is, is you've created an expectation that is really all that the end consumer wants. They just want to know that their property is being managed and maintained and being looked after. And by you creating the system, you automate that process and you create a recurring, um, a, a recurring event for that to happen. And you've created a job around it. And that job is, is that person that is managing that job is responsible for, um, for not only making uh, repairs that need to be done, but also, and also making suggestions that 
can continue to demonstrate the value that you're, that you're delivering to your customer and create opportunities for you to engage with them in order for you to, you know, further develop that relationship, um, which is awesome. So, and, and along that, to, to that point, I mean, I think, you know, that, that I, I would like to have you back on in the future to talk about how you're able to potentially deepen those relationships with these investors, these two that you just got today, okay? And by the way, you're gonna get more, you know, in, in your Facebook group. Um, you're gonna get more over time as you do, as you create content like this for your group. And anybody that has any questions about that as well, because we talked about it in the beginning of this interview, um, type any comments in below. I'm gonna, you know, I'm using Jason as a, as a test pilot um, of, this, of this system. And, um, and I think that it's going to be really interesting to see the results that you get. I mean, shoot, what would you pay to, you know, how much would you pay to have, you know, two leads, you know, I mean, it would, you know, I know that if you went to, you know, Google AdWords in order to, or if you paid for, you know, a lead from uh, property management, um, what's the name of that company where you pay for leads, a shared lead for a property management company is like 150 bucks. Okay. Oh yeah. You know, so you know, um, you know, help, I, there's a, I like to say, you know, uh, helping is the new selling. And, and when you are able to help these investors get what they want, you know, like I think it was uh, Zig Ziglar said this, you know, if you ha help enough people get what they want, then, then you'll have no problem, you know, being successful what you do and what you do. Um, and so it's just uh, leveraging yourself so that you can, help more people get what they want. And that's the beauty of, of tools like this. Um, even though it's a little bit, you know, intimidating sometimes, hopefully this process of you getting on here today, you know, made it much easier for you to, you know, picture yourself doing this with, you know, with, uh, in your group and, and either by yourself from your phone doing a Facebook live or, you know, inviting somebody in like a mortgage broker so, et cetera, so that you can add value and help these investors, property owners deal with issues that they have, you know, like, you know, getting exactly. loans. Yeah. You know, and so I, I think that that's, that's what's going to be really cool is, is to see the only, it's just the, the, the mechanism sometimes. And that's what we're going to find out. It's, it's going to be really, you know, it's really easy. All you, literally, all you got to do is press go live in, inside of the group. And then it'll ask you at the bottom, you know, do you want to invite anybody? And then you'll see them. And you just, you literally just bring them into the call. Just so I just gave you a little, little coaching there. And I'm also giving, you know, the people coaching here as well, but that's all you got to do. So what I would suggest that you do first is just go live in your group, introduce yourself. And then when you do that, I will jump in and, and, I, and that way you can invite me and um, just give me a little heads up and, and uh, you don't, you just got to invite, you can, now you can only invite people that are in your, in your closed group there. So I just want to give you a heads up on that as well. But, but anyway, I think this is a great, you know, this is a, a great call and, and um, you know, reach out to uh, Jason if you guys have any questions for him about what he talked about today. And thank you very much for, uh, for jumping on this call and, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hey, not a problem, Ryan. Glad I could help in any way. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay.